Hello, and welcome to another Let's Go Learn training video. Today, what we're going to do is go over the performance band report. Now that a lot of you have assessed your students for a second time this year, running the performance band report will be a great tool to see how your students are doing from one point to another, from pre-test to midterm test. Now, if you haven't assessed your students and you want to do so, to learn how to do this, you log into your account. Right now we're in a demo page. And once you log in, on the left hand side you click on Professional Development Center. Once the page loads, you can click on Getting Started. Take a look at this 15 minute system overview and here it will show you how to queue up your students for another assessment. Now for the task at hand how to run the performance band report. So to get started, you click on reporting followed by data portal. Now when you get into the data portal, you click on reports and in the drop down, you click on performance bands report for performance bands. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to use um, Dora to look at some data. So I'm going to click on Dora and then click on continue. Now, before I fill out the whole form, I want to go over each component so we can learn a little bit more about um, the data um, that will be presented. Now, on top, you'll notice that there's, there's a set of start and end for the first assessment range and the second assessment range. When you type in the start and the end dates, we want to make sure that we select dates that encompass the first assessment, so maybe the pretest, and also the second assessment range. Um, and we want to make sure that we include dates or a range of dates that will encompass all the students. Now, if you only want to do one range, you can click on a single a date range on the left hand side. And when I click on it, you'll notice that it will only appear um, one assessment range. So let me unclick this. Additionally, there is another option that says only include students in all testing windows. And what this means is this will um, only display data if the student was in the first assessment window and the second assessment window. Following this is um, the ranges of, of grades. So you can actually put a different range of students from kindergarten all the way to 12th grade plus. So for today, I'm going to select uh, 12th grade. Finally, we have absolute or relative. Now, if you by default, the report will automatically run absolute. And what absolute will show you are gains compared to a fixed grade level target. If you select relative gains, this will show relative gains compared to that time of the year when you're running the um, report. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this in with some sample data. Great, so after I fill out the two assessment ranges, I'm going to click on Begin. And then I'm going to select the sites that I want to include. So for today, I'm going to click on Select All. And then click Continue. Now, in this page, what you see um, are three colors, and period one, and also period two. The red represents the percentage of students that were classified as emergent. The blue class, uh, signifies the percentage of students that were classified as proficient. And the ones in red are students that were classified as above. And in our current data set, we can notice that from one period, HF to HF2, so the first assessment range to the second assessment range, 
um, the students that were in the emerging group went from 18.5 to 8.2. Um, 8 and students who were proficient went from 71.5 to 53.6, and then from 10 to 38.2. Um, so you can take a look at these graphs, and you can run this report for your individual site, once again, to see how your students are doing from pre to mid, and at the, at the end of the year, you can run from pre to post. Now, if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to your customer success specialist, or you can also call our, our technical support line at 1-888-618-7323. That's 1-888-618-7323. Thanks a lot.